What is going on everyone, my name is Nate, and the Elder Scrolls 6 is still a good two and a half to four years away. And in between that time frame, Bethesda has a lot more than just working on Tez 6 planned. And that's what I'd like to talk about today, what we can expect from Bethesda before the Elder Scrolls 6 releases. Now Bethesda's plate is set to be a very, very full one for the foreseeable future. In a recent IGN interview at the DICE convention, linked in the description down below, Bethesda head honcho Todd Howard confirmed that the studio is in fact working on seven different major projects with varying levels of scale. Now thankfully, Todd Howard gave us a very good idea of what most of these projects include. Porting Skyrim Special Edition to the Nintendo Switch, continue building Fallout 4 for virtual reality, a new mobile game likely similar to Fallout Shelter, as well as two more projects that were described as quote, bigger than anything we have ever done, and quote, kind of different but still the same type of game you would associate with us. And of course, Howard clarified that Bethesda is still, in fact, also working on The Elder Scrolls 6, but that will likely come out after everything else mentioned is already released. Let's break this down, starting off with the small stuff. Porting Skyrim Special Edition over to the Nintendo Switch. This Skyrim Special Edition is expected to release on the Switch in quarter 3 of 2017, and mods likely will not be included, so this is actually likely to be one of the smaller endeavors that the studio is currently embarking on. But Fallout 4's VR release is something a bit more ambitious. Todd Howard claims that Fallout 4 is now fully playable from start to finish with no cut content available on VR. Demos were shown off in 2016, and generally the VR edition was met with a lot of praise, but nobody really got to play it for very long, and in my opinion the biggest obstacle with the Fallout 4 and really many other games in VR is movement. When you play a VR game in your own home, you don't really have all that much movement space without risking hitting your head on something or whatnot. So the solution game devs commonly enjoy is a point and click system, where you just point in the direction you wish to travel, hit the clicker, and you'll sort of just end up moving there or teleporting there. And this system is pretty immersion breaking on games already made exclusively for VR, so you can imagine the shenanigans you'll find yourself in when trying to move around in a gunfight in Fallout or something that's not exactly designed for that sort of movement experience. Point is, VR is still in its infancy, and it's likely Fallout 4 on VR won't be too much more than a novelty. But should Bethesda still be on schedule, Fallout 4 VR will be ready in either the second or the third quarter of 2017. Now with that new mobile game mentioned, we start to enter the more uncharted territory, in that we're not entirely sure what to expect. Obviously, Bethesda's realized the potential market for mobile games and wants to emulate the same success they saw with the Fallout Shelter app. So, a free-to-play game with microtransactions would be a safe guess, though this time it's likely going to be focused on something different or possibly an even new IP. Maybe we'll see an Elder Scrolls theme, or perhaps this game will be based off of one of the two quote-unquote new games that the studio is working on, which honestly would make a lot more sense. Creating a mobile game based on a new IP before it releases would be an excellent way to spread awareness and generate some hype, as well as some extra income. And if the mobile game comes out around the same time as one of these new IPs, they can play off of each other and kind of benefit off of each other's success. Mobile games, however, are very quick to develop, so the earlier scenario is far more likely. Bethesda has not given us an ETA on this one, but judging by how quick it usually is to develop these sorts of games, a release in the first half of 2017 is where I would put my money. Now, for those two big games Todd Howard mentioned, quote, bigger than anything they've done, I think it's safe to assume that whatever these two projects are will stay true to the Bethesda formula of offering open worlds and emphasizing player choice, especially considering how Todd Howard stated, quote, the same type of game you would expect from us. We also know that Bethesda has gone through the motions of acquiring and trademarking the title and name Starfield. And Bethesda did this over three years ago, so whatever Starfield is, Bethesda has been planning on it for a very, very long time which makes it a likely candidate for one of these two new IPs. Of course, a title like Starfield is indicative of and brings to mind things like sci-fi in space, so I'd imagine those would be the themes explored in a possible sci-fi game that plays like Fallout or The Elder Scrolls that Bethesda could be developing. As for the other major project, God only knows, but with The Elder Scrolls covering the more medieval fantasy genre, Fallout taking care of the whole post-apocalyptic setting, and Starfield possibly focusing on something sci-fi, this other new project will certainly have to be a creative one. Maybe it takes on a western theme or perhaps maybe something that has to do with Caveman? I'm not entirely sure here. We, we have literally nothing to go on for this other IP other than that it's probably not going to explore the themes that we've already seen. Anyway guys, that is what we can expect from Bethesda before the Elder Scrolls 6 releases. Now previously I made a video in which I talked about Tez 6 and why I think it's coming out most likely in late 2019. That's what seems to be the most feasible release date. But with Bethesda having just such a full plate, that release date is now kind of looking more to be something like 2020, maybe even 2021. 
And the reason I say that is while it looks like Bethesda has done everything to make it appear this date's coming out in 2019, these big projects might dilute efforts from The Elder Scrolls 6, more so than Bethesda is expecting. A very common trend in the games industry is for developers to bite off a lot more than they can chew, and I would not be surprised if that is the case here. Bethesda sacrifices too many resources and too much effort into all these other small projects. By the time they're getting around to late 2019, they realize, you know what? We need more time with The Elder Scrolls 6. So I can imagine Tez 6 being pushed back to probably 2020 at this point, just judging by so much what they have to do. And then of course the 2019 date was never even solidified, it's just, it's what they kind of alluded to in various interviews. And again guys, I hope you all enjoyed, I apologize, I have not been uploading as frequently as I generally like to over the past two weeks. Now, I upload relatively sporadically in the first place, however the last two weeks I've been completely focused on midterms, particularly studying for one goddamn calculus class that makes me want to scratch my own eyeballs out. But I digress, I have passed that calculus class so I've just found out, so uh, we've also got spring break coming up so a lot more content is planned to be flushed out over the next week or two and then I intend to resume the normal upload schedule of, uh, of a video every two days ish but again I hope you guys enjoyed like if you liked dislike if you disliked and I hope to see you all in my next video peace out everybody